A ratio says how much of one thing there is compared to another thing. Basically, ratio is the term used to show how an amount is split up or proportioned. Ratio is used to compare values and is found in lots of different settings that work with scale and proportion. You will find it in areas ranging from sport and beauty therapy to construction. We also use ratio in everyday life when making models, purchases or dealing with currency exchange rates. Ratio even appears in nature. An example of ratio may be when a restaurant bill is divided using the ratio of 3 to 1. This means that one person pays three amounts to the bill to the one amount of the other person. This equals four amounts in total. If the bill was 44 in total, split to the ratio of three to one. One person will pay 33 and the others 11. Ratios can often be seen in scale drawings of maps and buildings. In a scale drawing, all dimensions have been reduced by the amount. When map scales are written as ratios, they tell you how many units of land and sea are equal to one unit on the map. If you are travelling from Newcastle to Romania, for example, and need to know how far it is, it would be very difficult to work this out if the map did not have a scale. When working with ratios, it is important to be aware of the equivalent ratio to be able to simplify ratio. Equivalent ratio is when the ratio is the same, but the values may differ. One third and two sixths are equivalent ratios, since they represent the same fraction. The two ratios, 8 to 24, and 4 to 12 are also equivalent. When simplifying ratios, we do the reverse. We generally write a ratio in its simplest form. To simplify, we divide both sides by their highest common factor. For example, the ratio 12 to 16 becomes 3 to 4 in its simplest form, and the ratio 6 to 9 simplified becomes 2 to 3.